All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally picking back up on the tub install for Johnny's truck. But I did have a little bit of cleaning as I took off, took away one of my other shelvings right here. And I put it upstairs to have all my merchandise in. But in doing so, I left quite a bit of a mess. And I kind of want to do a little bit of cleaning. So it looks a little bit more presentable in here. Uh, Johnny's actually coming by today to drop off some more stuff that he has for the front end. Mainly it's just the relocation stuff for the coolant. I think he's got a new intake. The relocation for the fuse box. And I don't remember if it's for the battery as well. But that's all coming from Reckless Suspension. So we're going to be installing that as well once we get uh, all the tubs and stuff situated. So luckily we have that. We're going to have that. That way we make sure that the, uh, the new tubs are going to clear everything whenever we install them so <clears throat> i'm gonna spend a few minutes now and uh do a little bit of cleaning organizing uh putting stuff away and i'm gonna pick this back up in a second once we get a little bit organized so uh be back in a few seconds all right well what is going on guys welcome back to the channel we're finally picking back up on johnny's truck we're going to be starting finally the tubs on the front fenders the tubs are right over here. They're actually trailer fenders, but since he's not gonna be bagged or going too low on the front, these work just fine. We're not gonna do nothing too crazy. Uh, the only difference between these and the regular tubs you can get from other websites is that these have a curve to them on the edges that, where they would go around the trailer wheels. But what we're gonna do is actually cut this inner roll uh, that's gonna go on the inside. Um, well, actually it would be towards the outside. So. Cut this lip off so it doesn't have that risk of the tire hitting that if it does uh, bounce far enough to actually hit it. So to lessen the risk of any punctures, we're going to cut this outer lip of lip off. You'll see whenever we go to weld it onto the to the fender. But but first, I'm going to set up my bumper stand. I actually got an old towel here that I'm going to cut up. That way we can wrap the bumper stand right here so we don't scratch up the fenders any further than they already have are right now. But um, that's pretty much what we're going to be working on today. He actually came and dropped off some more parts yesterday. I should have had a video uploaded for you guys at least a day ago, but um, kind of kind of got sidetracked with cleaning up uh, the garage here and uh, doing other personal stuff. But we're back on it. We're going to get started on these tubs, and hopefully soon enough we'll start also tearing down the front suspension so we can finally begin the coilover kit install. Still waiting on the coilovers, but. We still have the majority of the parts there where we can actually get started on the coilover kit install. So without further ado, give me a few minutes. I'm going to set my phone down and at least get it charging for a second. And then I'm going to just, all I'm going to do is uh, wrap the bumper stand here, set the first fender in place, and I'll show you the game plan on how we're going to cut these fenders. All right, so I'm going to start off with the passenger side fender here. And the first thing we're going to do, um, I mean, our first initial cuts are actually going to be right along this edge right here. I don't want to cut on the actual outer lip of the fender because if you make that too thin, it's going to have a tendency to flex and over time it'll end up cracking. So what I'll do is I'll just, like I said, cut along that line all the way down, down to here. And if I need to, I'll roll this upper lip over so it has a little bit more clearance. Up here, we're going to go ahead and cut this off. This is the bracket where the the air filter box would bolt to so that's going to be relocated because it's got a shorty intake that's going to be being replaced on it so we can get rid of this the coolant overflow tank is actually going to be relocated so we can come and cut all the way up here if we need to now from the looks of it um it already was rubbing right in here so i was going to initially just cut it to the original spot because the major i thought the majority of the rubbing was just on this outer lip wherever it curves out see how it kind of curves out so what we're actually going to do is we're going to start initially with a small cut right along this and what we'll do is slowly start fitting up the old um uh trailer tub and kind of start fitting it up against here and we'll just see how far we're going to cut up in here because like i said we're going to have to raise it up a little bit higher so the trailer fender is not the same dimensions the it doesn't curve the same as the original um sheet metal does so we're gonna have to cut that a little bit manipulate it and make it fit a little bit better but we'll make it work it's gonna take a little finessing but 
um, in the end, that's going to come out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and start by making my first initial cuts down here. This is going to be a fire risk, though. There's quite a bit of dry, like, pine needles or whatever you want to call these, the stuff that falls off the trees. So I'm going to have to get that out before we start grinding so we don't cause any small fires. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this on a time lapse and start making our initial cuts. I think you only love me cause I'm poppin' This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbin' Tyson with the fade, not the air, my hands rockin' When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not Get out my way, I'm so, I'm so unashamed Throw it to my veins, like my 2K green or blue I'm not into games, focus on your player's face While I'm stacking change Okay, well, as you saw in the video, I went ahead and go and cut the edges, both inner and outer of the uh, trailer fenders. And that way I can have a little bit more play with bending it out because how I told you that the radius was a little bit too narrow for the fender to fit uh, nice and snug. What I did, that's why I, that's why I cut the outer lips off. So now what I did is I bent it out a little bit more. And as you can see now, it fits a little bit better. It's going to be sitting about two and a half, maybe three inches higher than where it was. Let me get a tape measure. So that should give him enough clearance, but I don't know exactly how low he's going to go. That probably gave him about three, three, three and a quarter inches more of clearance. So he should be good there, but I know he does want to drop it down a little bit more. So he's, he's not too drastically low in the front. I think he just barely was tucking any tire. So um, we should be okay there, but I'm still not 100%. But regardless, at the moment, what I have is the initial marking of where I'm going to be cutting for the tub. So I pretty much just took my my pin my sharpie and just ran it kind of eyeballed it and then ran it against the trailer fender and up again and marked the the fender itself and that's going to give me pretty much a rough cut to fit the trailer fender and down here i'm going to stop it right here i don't want to cut too much of this little reinforcement plate so it's just going to have a little bit knocked out and it's going to stop right here but from here down, what I'll do is I'll get some of the thinner gauge sheet metal that I have in the back and I'll make kind of like another cover that's going to come here and finish it off. That way you don't get any water that goes through the um, through the door panel that's going to go through in there and then get water and dirt get up all up in there. So this will be covered up. It's the trailer fender is not fully going to go inside of it. A lot of people will just leave it like that pretty much how they did it on his uh bed let's see if i can get under here <laughs> let me turn on the flash so you guys can see in here all right so see as how they did the kind of the tub on here they even left the lip on it which is kind of sketchy because that could have a tendency to um cut into the tire if they hit something really hard so as you can see all up in here they didn't do anything so all the water and stuff can go up in here this isn't too big of an issue because it's all the way in the back. There's not much electronics and stuff in here. But in the front, like I mentioned, 
we don't want to get water going up in there so uh being that it's going to be in the engine bay we want to try to seal it up as best we can so my plan is i'm gonna end up making some tabs maybe on the inside and what i'll do is i'll find some sort of plastic or like a liner to kind of line the inside and cover that up as best as i can because if i were to make it out of sheet metal is sheet metal it would be a little bit more difficult to form in there because of all the body lines on the outside of the fender so the easiest way will be to like i said mentioned uh, make little tabs kind of like this drill a hole through them and then just use one of the um those plastic retainers that the original liner used i might even just cut the old liner and use that kind of like a, the material to line that inside so it doesn't get wet inside so might utilize those old liners to cover up all the way up in here but the trailer fender is just going to be enough to where it goes almost to the edge because we want to have as much coverage to the inside as possible so that's going to be my initial cut i'm going to go ahead and start cutting that but for now let's go ahead and do that rough cut and get that cut out and then we'll start uh probably tacking it in tonight and kind of fitting it up and see how it fits so let's go ahead and do that and get it cut up and continue on this fender install fitment it's kind of just clamped in place and then got the tape holding it up in place but this kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like you know it's like i said it's got a little bit of a gap but that's because it's just clamped in place and not really sitting where it needs to i might need to grind just a little bit more right here to get it to sit how i want it but everything else is pretty much pretty much spot on now i'm Pretty much at a point where i'm ready to tack it in and then just check the fitment on that so i'll just do like maybe five or six tacks somewhere just to kind of hold it in place and keep it from flexing and then go ahead and throw it onto the truck and test fit it and then how i like and see if i like it So we got our cuts made over here. We got our tacks. Did a little bit more than just a few, but better safe than sorry. It's gonna be pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So now we're ready to throw it on the truck. I'm gonna see how it looks and make sure everything back here clears. Make sure we don't have to trim anything else. So let me set my camera up and we'll start taking everything off and see how she fits. Yeah, just what I thought the back of the fender is going to be in the 
touching the uh, firewall. So I actually need my marker. We're gonna have to trim a little bit. Is it hanging on something? Not really. Don't wanna let it go so I can show y'all. Okay, let's see if I can do this by myself. So, hopefully y'all guys can tell, but just back in there, just that section is touching the uh, the firewall. So what I'll do is I'll trim, start trimming it little by little, but I kind of need my marker so I can start making my initial cuts. And pretty much back there, we'll just do a little bit of a trim just to get it to fit nice and flush. So, kind of got like an initial marking. So we're gonna have to start cutting the tub little by little. All right, so as I was pushing it in, see, I believe, where was it? I think it was right here where it was touching. So I need to get my marker and kind of do that again. And that way I can mark it better. And then, we'll, like I said, we'll, well, same thing, we'll just start taking the, uh, the cuts a little by little. Now, I know I will have to do an even cut straight this way, but as I'm doing the cuts this way, I'll just cut it little by little because I want it to sit, maybe try to get it to sit in front of this or if not behind it. Uh, and then we'll make a little cut to kind of like where it slips into this to kind of make it nice and almost like factory. But we'll mark it, let me mark it real quick. And then I'll show you, I'll pick it back up whenever I have everything marked and when I, before I start making my uh, initial cuts right there. All right, so I got the first section marked out. I kind of paranoid, like I said, I don't want to cut too much. So I think the, where it was rubbing, it was like, it's like a little bit up higher, but I went ahead and started low. That way at least I can just still have metal to cut off. Same thing right here, I just kind of guesstimated, but I know for sure it had like a, uh, I still had like four inches to, center it up where the bolt holes go. So I did about maybe that much. I guess I think it's like two and a half inches maybe. Maybe a little bit less, but I'm gonna do small cuts until I can get it to fit just right and just take my time with it. So I'm gonna do my first cuts and then I'll pick it back up whenever we get on the second attempt to fit it up. All right, attempt number two. Try to fit this fender up. Okay. Looks like it's still. Okay, we might be good actually on the initial. But it looks like we need a little bit more to cut along the side. All right, so we're pretty close. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to cut that little sliver out just to kind of fit up against the firewall a little bit better. And then I need to make this weird little cut because what I'm gonna try to do is make it like cup this. So the tub is gonna go on the outside, but when it gets to here, the tub will actually go around and then be tucked behind this, this little pinch well on the firewall. So I'm gonna try to cut these pieces out and then that hopefully that should be the final uh, cuts that I need to make. So fingers crossed. Okay, kind of dressed it up as best as I could. And that's pretty much gonna be the initial cut right there. Hopefully it slips in there. Now it may need a little bit more trimming, but we'll see. Now this is the, what is it, the third time, the third attempt to try to get this to fit. Okay. Now let's try to get this in here again. It's almost there. 
it's kind of like right there where I want it, but it needs to slide in a little bit more. So that little backside, I need to cut it. You need to cut it. So that back corner needs to be cut just a little bit more. If I remember where I keep putting my marker. So right now, it needs to go in. Damn it. This needs to go forward, but the tub is not letting the fender come in anymore. So we need to do another little bit of cut. Cut off wheel. Just take it a little at a time so we don't overcut it. And then kind of mark it down here. Kind of work, okay. Hopefully, fourth time's a charm. Still needs a little bit more trimming because it's got to slide back a little bit. The gap on the door up here um, to the fender is not tight. And then it still kind of wants to go in just a little bit more. So I'm going to just mark it another, another line. Give me another line to cut. And then we're just going to take a little bit more and hopefully this will be the last time. I'm on right now, but this should be the last one. Famous last words. Looks like that might be it right there. Let's kind of start bulking it down and see how it fits up. <clears throat> all right well i think that's it right there that's probably the best fitment has had so far i mean the way i am i'm so picky let me try to get some, um trying to get some more lighting for you guys but like i said the way i am is i'm kind of picky so i might end up trimming it just a little bit more 
Let's see, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get some good lighting down in here. But you see kind of what I was going for? So wraps around, goes all the way up to the firewall, but you got a nice little transition right there. And you have just a small little, little gap in there. So you have at least somewhere for the water to drain so you don't start accumulating um, any moisture in there. So see kind of in that corner right there, I might want to trim it just a little bit more. Maybe not have it to where it's a curve. But other than that, I believe she's good right there. I mean that, I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with is I think it would have been better if we had just a little bit more depth into the tub. But that's gonna be pretty much like the initial. Um, it's gonna give him the good clearance that he needs. We'll figure out something to cover up the engine bay so when he does go through a puddle of water, he's not splashing the water all up into the engine bay. But other than that, we should be Gucci. It all's coming together. Feeling a little bit better. Nice up against the firewall. There, there's different options that people do. Some guys will have the tub all the way up here flat and then up at the front it'll curve down but since johnny's not going to be on bags um he's not going to need to have that much clearance so we should be good right there it's nice and even if it's nice and flat it's not like curved it's not tilted one way to the other maybe because of my camera angle that it looks a little bit odd on mine on the tv on your tv but it's pretty even looks nice the fitment up against the door all that's nice and even how it, how it should be it's flush i couldn't get it to sit right up against the door how i used to because of that <clears throat> little cuts that i needed to make in here so now that we got this done the next step would be to uh i'm gonna start cutting out the small pieces of sheet metal that's gonna come in here and cover all this up so i'm gonna end up covering up here maybe having it come all the way up to here somewhere and then i'll probably have it stopped somewhere right in here but i like it it's coming out pretty good um now like i guess we're pretty much to the point where i can start doing that bottom piece um and then start marking out up here where i'm going to do the uh the sheet metal work so i'm going to cover this up make it look nice and even and i don't know what we're going to do back there because i know i'm going to i said mentioned i was going to cover that hole up but um I don't know if I was going to do anything back here yet. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll just do what we have on our plate right now. And then maybe what I'll do now is go ahead and start the initial on the other side before I get too far ahead on this one. So uh, we'll go ahead and do this tomorrow. It's getting kind of late on me today. And we'll do the same thing on this, same process. Start cutting everything up. I'm going to have to take some time to clean this up because... I don't like working in a dirty environment, but that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you come back, check, keep checking up on the Fender Tub install. Don't forget that giveaway for the Pioneer Radio is still going on. I think I have now 16 stickers left, so we're almost quite there. We're almost uh, trying to sell all of them out. Once all of them are sold, then um, I'm going to go live on my Instagram, and we'll do the names uh, name elimination. And the lax sticks will be the winners. Remember, um, I'm going to do from the six down to the first. So the last guy is going to be the one that wins the radio. And then the first five are going to be the uh, cash winners. So make sure you hit up elgallobuilt.bigcartel.com. Pick up the new 2021 El Gallo Built sticker and you will automatically be entered into winning that Double Den Pioneer Radio with a dash kit if you require one. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment, like, share the videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.